story you'll see only on CBS 12 News. Lindsay. Well, Kurt, ask around your office. It won't take long for you to find someone who will admit they've done it or somebody who with friends who are even thinking about it, trading up by buying and then bailing. The for sale signs abound, one part of what one realtor calls a perfect storm. I said, I can't believe it. I'm, I'm seeing it myself. Help me out, Bob. What do I do? What to do when your house suddenly ends up upside down, your mortgage much higher than your home is worth now that the market's gone soft. Realtors say they're seeing more people try out what's called a buy and bail. They were buying, uh, buying a property. They loved, they liked the home that they were living in, and they didn't expect it to go down in value. They weren't speculating on their primary residence, so I can't, um, I can't fault them. Here's how the buy and bail works: the buyer sees a newer, bigger property for much less money. They buy the second home, convincing lenders they'll rent or keep the first. Later, they bail, allowing that first property to go into foreclosure or negotiating a short sale. But attorneys say this is not as easy as it seems. We certainly do not recommend that a client or a potential client uh, uh, buy a new house and simply forget about or bail on the old house. Uh, there are serious financial and credit repercussions. People are just more asking for trouble uh, to just simply, you know, buy and walk away. And in walking away, others argue it further erodes a crumbling real estate market. I feel bad for the lenders too, but we need to stop the bleeding. We need to uh, have some market correction here and, and uh, it may take some support from the federal government. And we should point out none of the homes pictured in this story are necessarily buy and bail houses, but it is a problem, realtors say, that is happening all throughout our area. Also, for those who try out this buy and bail, you should be forewarned. It is not without punishment. It can hurt your credit, and banks can come after you for the money you owe after foreclosure.